Hello, it's Jennifer McCreith on uh, Friday night, September 7th, 2012. Um, found myself in a very interesting, funny situation today. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with a, a television show called Punked, and uh, we essentially had uh, a version of Punked right here in St. John's, Newfoundland today involving me. I'm just going to try to get the light focus better. So anyway, I was... Uh, Walking around downtown, uh, heading to a concert tonight to see uh, the legendary John Fogarty, one of the greatest classic rockers of all time. And for some reason, the building wasn't open. The concert started at 7.30, and uh, the door still hadn't opened at 7 o'clock. So I'm just sort of walking around, uh, looking for people that I know to talk to and say hello. Then I noticed that the K-Rock radio truck was there. Uh, I guess uh, they were sponsoring the show. And uh, so I decided to walk up to the truck and uh, say hello. There was actually a couple of radio personalities there. And uh, they all actually seemed very excited to, uh, to see me and to meet me. And uh, I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, um, I've uh, been in the news a lot over the past few years uh, for a variety of things. Uh, not for music, though. So I was... Uh, kind of touched and flattered that the folks on the classic rock radio station not only recognized me but wanted to uh, say hello and hang out and get their picture taken with me. Um, one of the radio personalities actually had a set of handcuffs and wanted to uh, handcuff himself to me for a picture so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, then about a minute into the conversation I kind of realized that you know what these folks have absolutely no idea who I am they actually think that I'm someone else, someone who was uh, showing up to participate in some sort of handcuffing contest. And uh, the, uh, the person, the gentleman that uh, put the handcuffs on me kind of winked at me. And he knew who I was, but the other folks obviously had no clue. And uh, I kind of realized that uh, he was uh, recognizing an opportunity to play a prank on uh, his colleagues and I guess in a way me as well I got punked indirectly um, I'm like okay I, we're not getting into the building so I might as well just play along whatever it is this guy wants to do uh, he, he I will uh, play along with that so turns out there was some sort of a contest uh, that if people would agree to be handcuffed to this uh, radio DJ personality that uh, they would uh, they would win a prize of so I have no idea what it was but uh, so I kind of went along we uh, walked down the street uh, handcuffed together uh, walked along George Street and started waving at everybody and uh, making fools of ourselves and uh, we walked into this bar and sat down started chatting and uh, ran into Patty Daly another radio personality from uh, VOCM um, then I guess uh, it was time to reveal the punked. I guess uh, the person who really was supposed to be involved in this uh, this event uh, showed up and I guess sent an email or a text said what the heck's going on. Um, so uh, yeah it was kind of unique shall we say. Um, but uh, it was you know me folks, I'm always looking for an opportunity to uh, get my face out there and uh, I thought I was uh, being uh, I guess involved in a uh, publicity stunt or a photo shoot an like here I am thinking I'm a big shot, an opportunity K-Rock to meet uh, the legendary Jennifer McCreeth for a photo shoot um, but in the end it turned out to be a, a completely different uh, situation but uh, Oh well, uh, the folks that did not know who I was, uh, I don't know if I should say shame on you or shame on me. Uh, I guess uh, if I'm going to be a politician in the city, I need to do a better job getting my name out there. So I thought everybody in the radio business knew who I was. Obviously, there's a few that don't. Well, now you knew. Now you do. <laughs> anyway, um, just a very interesting, fun, unique interlude uh, before... Uh, the concert and uh, since I got the camera on let's talk a bit about that I have no idea why the building was closed 7.30 show at 7.22 finally the doors opened people were literally lined up down the street and around the corner to get in um, 
no announcement was made. Um, luckily, they delayed the uh, the start of the show. The opening act didn't go on till eight, who I believe was Willie Nelson's son. And uh, by the way, I had a really good seat. I was second row floor. So after going through that little punk situation and then not being able to get into the building, I was actually in a in a bad mood. I was kind of pissed off. Um, and I, I was really not able to enjoy the show uh, at first and uh, I'm gonna pursue this I wanna know what's going on like if you're gonna book a concert you better open the doors at least an hour before the show give people plenty of time to get in there uh, go to the bathroom buy buy a hot dog or a drink or whatever uh, go to the souvenir table but there's a lot of business that was lost there because people were panicking scrambling get me in the building get me to my seat is it safe what's going on why was the doors not open very poor, um, disappointing way to start the evening. But uh, finally, after uh, after the opening act uh, finished, uh, there was obviously a set change, and I think people finally started to settle down. And uh, John Fogarty uh, hit the stage. Uh, I guess it was around nine o'clock, and he played a phenomenal two-hour set, 28 songs in total. Um, he was backed by a, a band of three or four people, uh, drums, a uh, bass guitar, a keyboardist, big uh, TV screens in the background and flashy light shows. The guy's what, 66 years old, 67? He looks like he's 40. Um, his voice is as perfect as it's always been. Um, I think he played 20 different guitars throughout the show. He, he played uh, several Creedence Clearwater hits as well as some of his uh, well-known solo hits. Um, he also dug into his vault of uh, favorites and played some cover tunes. Uh, he covered Marvin Gaye's Heard It Through the Grapevine, covered Roy Orbison's Pretty Woman, and Little Richard's uh, Good Golly Miss Molly. And uh, since we're here, might as well show you the... I was fortunate enough to get my hands on a copy of the set list, so there it is right there. John Fogarty. September 7, 2012. Born on the Bayou. Uh, great song to open the show with. Uh, those of you Fogarty fans, I'm sure you'll recognize most of these. There's a few obscure tunes in there. I gotta be honest, there's probably four or five I did not recognize. Um, the last three were the encore, and that was just phenomenal. Uh, center field was uh, one of the highlights. He has a uh, guitar shaped like a baseball bat. Um, I guess the favorites for me, Born on the Bayou, was amazing. Proud Mary got everyone fired up. Green River, phenomenal guitar playing. Um, what else do we want to comment on here? A couple little stories. He told a story about, uh, I guess, Gunslinger. And uh, have you ever seen the rain he dedicated to his 10-year-old daughter? Um, yeah, 28 songs, two-hour set. Um, let's get the camera back on me. Really, really amazing show. Um, so glad. He's been on my bucket list for years. Never thought he would come out here to Newfoundland. And... Uh, I guess uh, John is, uh, here's a guy that uh, had a very successful life uh, from the beginning in his early 20s. He was a, a hit musician. He played Woodstock. Uh, then at the age of 46, he got married. And uh, I guess that's a bit of a wake-up call. And here he is at 66, 67 years old. He's got 10-year-old kids. So for those of you folks, uh, like myself, that are getting older and still haven't found love and still haven't... Uh, got a family started uh, it's never too late and heck just because this guy's 67 doesn't mean he acts like an old person he's running around the stage um, full of life he actually runs 10 kilometers a day which I think is really neat um, yeah you're never too old to follow your dreams and uh, yeah anyway I uh, won't ramble on anymore let me a uh, little plug here for the K-Rock folks uh, they were handing out these uh, these stickers here. Um, yeah, that was really really funny. Um, anyway, um, they they said they would put me on the radio um, as a guest to discuss a variety of things. Uh, 
I'm trying to get the word out there that I'm going to run for city council next year, and uh, this will be a great opportunity to uh, introduce myself to some more folks who might not know who I am. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you very much for uh, for listening to me ramble on, and uh, have a great night or morning, whenever you happen to be clicking on this, and uh, do click around because uh, I've got a lot of good stuff here on YouTube. Take care, everyone.